Hello, everybody. Guess you can see where we are. It is Tuesday, right? Tuesday, and finally getting to see the Encanto topiaries. So they look fabulous. Right behind us. Yep. And of course, we first got up 7 a.m. to get ourselves a virtual queue. We have two songs that we're missing. So we're going to hop on, hop. We're going to hop on to Guardians and let you know if we get one of those two new songs. Rebecca, come along. It is the Flower and Garden Festival, so we're going to see what kind of food and drink we can get. Yep. Give us and, a like, a thumbs up. And it's actually, it's 73 degrees. Winter, I think, has finally passed. Yeah. So All right. Let's go. New song. And sadly, during Guardians, our mic got knocked loose and we lost audio. But as you see, we are still missing two songs. Hopefully, we will get it. But we still had a really fun ride on Guardians of the Galaxy. Since there was no line, we decided to go ahead and get some fun photos after the ride. And it's always neat to see how your pictures are going to turn out with the different poses they have you doing. And, of course... You always have to wait for that magic shot because it's always fun to see what the download is going to be once you get it. Hi, Groot. Our first food stop was at the brunch cot where we got shrimp and grits, the fried cinnamon roll bites, and got the Joffrey's cold brew cocktail. The shrimp and grits were blackened shrimp and cheddar cheese grits with brown gravy and sweet corn salsa. Fried cinnamon roll bites with cream cheese frosting and candied bacon. And the Joffrey's coffee cold brew cocktail with milk Kahlua rum and coffee liqueur and vanilla vodka. We did enjoy all three of these items at the festival. The only thing we wish is that it would have been a little warmer, but the taste was still good. The bacon packed a punch in the frosted bites, and the grits did have a little kick to them, so just watch for that just in case. But all in all, we would rate this about a 7 out of 10. Would have been higher but the food just wasn't as hot as we would hoped.
for our second stop, we got some potato pancakes with applesauce, toasted pretzel bread, and a beer flight. There are two potato pancakes at the stop, but this one is with the house homemade applesauce, and we have the toasted pretzel bun topped with black forest ham and melted Gruer cheese, and the beer flight. And again, all of the items were very good, but still not very hot. Um, the potato pancakes was grilled instead of fried. So to me, they really tasted like more of a hash brown. But again, they were both very good items. As for the beer flight, we enjoyed two of the three uh, the pail on the left was pretty happy, um, so not kind of our taste. Uh, the middle was a raspberry that was very good. I enjoyed that one very much. Um, the one on the right was a lighter dunkel, which also was very good. Um, they all did pair very well with the uh, toasted pretzel bun. So again, 7 out of 10 just needs to be a little bit warmer, and I think the food would have had a higher rating. For our third and final food stop, we got the Frushi and the Nagori Dragon Fruit Sake Cocktail. The Frushi was strawberry, pineapple, and lychee wrapped in sweet rice and pink soy wrapped served with whipped cream, drizzled berry sauce, and toasted coconut. The frushi was still very good. You can't really go wrong with fruit and whipped cream, but that nagori sake looked as good as it tasted. Although we didn't taste much sake, so 7 out of 10, but still great. Before leaving for the night, we popped into Creations, and if you're into Orange Bird, they have all the merchandise for you lounge fly spirit jerseys so if you're looking for orange bird head to creations so many different lounge fly choices that were new to us and probably one of our uh, favorites that they did have was this one here kind of reminds you of a rotary phone andy thought it was so cool how it actually spun around so I thought that was a neat little find, so hmm, maybe a new lounge fly is in order, but still looking for that figment. Many more new finds for us. We have yet to see this shirt in any of the stores, so that's cool. And this one was probably one of our favorites, the long sleeve 100th, so that might be a purchase. Leave us a comment and let us know what's your favorite merchandise.